Hey guys, it's Jess. Here's an unboxing of the new Stormcast Eternals Vanguard Hunters box. This is a nice little box. It's got ten guys in there, which can build one or two units, uh, either two units of five or one unit of ten, of the new Stormcast Eternals Vanguard Hunters. So you can see from the back of the box, these guys have got bolt pistols and axes or swords, and you've also got one of the first Stormcast Eternals unhelmeted heads in this kit, which is really nice. Um, these guys are a lot more kind of feral looking than your previous Stormcasts. They've got fur cloaks and all sorts. In kind of a big F U to Peta or Peter or who does anyone really know if it's Peta or Peter? No one really knows. I think, to be honest, they don't know either. Because well, let's not get into it. But <laughs> Let's have a little look at this kit. So as you can see, this was £30 at my local, but if you go to GW or go online at GW's website, it'll be £37.50. Um, so it's still not a bad value kit, but obviously if you go to your independent stores, you do get that slightly, slightly better value for money. So what again, what you'll find in this kit is there's duplicate sprues. So there'll be two different sprues, I believe, of which there's two of each. So tip that out. I wouldn't be surprised if this was originally intended to have been um, a box of five and they changed their mind near the end. <laughs> um, so you get two sheets of the Stormcast Eternal transfers, two packs of five 40mm bases, and here's the instructions. So that's you can see a bit of a painting guide on the back for the regular colour scheme there. There's a lovely piece of artwork there, which is kind of what you've seen in the Codex uh, slash Battle Dome. And there's your instruction booklet, which gives you all the guide you need to assembling these traps. So it looks like there's plenty of kind of options with these. Um, quite a lot of room for conversions and kit bashes, I would assume, as well, actually. Um, quite in-depth instructions and there's their war scroll as well so you can kind of get an idea of what they can do in the game they can pump out a few shots they don't really have any rend or massive damage but they can kind of i think these guys can run and shoot in the same turn which is pretty beastly um and then yep we've got duplicate sprues so let's just move the spare ones over to the side and we'll focus on these so here's the first one let's just boom, 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 boom. there we go so what do we see? What do we see? Put my glasses on. So you can see there's a few of the fur cloaks. There's three cloaks on this one. Um, let's just have a look at the detail on those. So yeah, they're pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Um, you can see some of the weapons there. Part of one of the bolt pistols. Um, there's an astral compass. This kind of basically lets your unit redeploy. Um, there you go, so there's your unit commander shoulder pad, the kind of prime of the unit, I guess. And then you've got all the different shoulder pads there as well. So what you get is you get five with the kind of Hammer of Sigma icon on, but you also get the plain ones as well, which I believe will be for the other side of the, um, sh the other shoulder, basically. So you have like one of them on one side and one of those on the other side. Um, and you can see basically just pieces of torso spread around. Uh, these are little kind of packs hanging down from their belts. Uh, you've got an odd little top knot there, presumably for the prime. This is kind of like a hand holding a magazine for the bolt pistol, so you can just reload with that. Um, and yeah, so these are kind of like pretty good in combat, pretty good at shooting. They're nice all-round, fast-moving um, infantry so you can't go too far wrong and the second sprue here you can see this has got a bunch of weapons so you can see here's the nice little blades there you've got a couple more of the fur cloaks um, a few accessories there so there's like a rope um, a few more kind of interesting packs there some more top knots so I guess the top knots are either optional or just part of the helmet that you glue on afterwards Probably the latter there. Um, and yeah, so ooh, there's the heads look, or the helmeted heads. So you can kind of see how they look. They've got this kind of like lion design at the top of the head there, like that. And here's your little mini Fulgrim head. 
there you go so yeah that's that so it's a really nice looking kit tons of parts um, looks like there's a reasonable amount of customization on these um, so it'll be really fun to get these assembled personally I'm thinking of doing them building it as two units of five because it's always nice to have multiple small units I think um, but that's just me um, post down below what you think would, would you if you had these do it as two small units or one larger unit um, either way the points cost would be the same overall and I think if you've got a Lord Aquilor as your general I think these guys can become battle line but it wouldn't tell you in there it would only tell you in the battle tome um, but yeah yeah pretty cool um, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and I'll be back soon with even more videos yeah